All right? So to do the reflection, let's follow again the process. First, what is our parent graph for number six? What's our parent graph? We only have four choices. Huh? What? Oh, what is the parent graph? What are these little lines? Absolute value of x, right? So our parent graph is y equals absolute value of x. Now, do we have a plus or minus c anywhere? Are we adding or subtracting anything? No. So do we have any translations? No, we're not going to shift the graph left, right, nor are we going to shift the graph up or down. Yes, it's pretty crazy, I know. We're not going to shift it left, right, or up, down. Does that make sense? So there's only a couple other things that can happen. We either have a dilation or we have a reflection. And remember, when we're introducing a negative symbol, either outside or inside, we're going to have a reflection. So the next thing we need to determine, once we identify what's going to be happening, and it even tells us it's a reflection, we need to determine per your note, well not before per your notes, is this negative sign inside or outside of our function? It's outside, right? Inside would look something like that one, right? So it's outside. So per notes, when it's outside of your function, what type of reflection, what are you reflecting it about? The x-axis. So let's graph the parent function. When it's outside the function, you reflect about the x-axis. So remember geometry? Here, reflect. So it's going to open downwards. Cool? That's it. If it was inside, you would reflect about the y. But what happens when I reflected about the y if it was inside? You're going to get the exact same graph, right? Yeah. This is symmetrical about the y-axis. So it's the exact same graph. Kind of cool? So if it was inside, if it was absolute value of negative x, it'd be the same graph. Which makes sense, because what's the absolute value of a positive or a negative number? It's always the positive value, right? So that's why you can see a negative number inside of there, it's not going to matter. It wouldn't matter if you did negative x, because it's always going to end up positive. That's why you get the same graph. You guys are just filled with mathematical knowledge now. <laughs>